Hello, welcome. My name is Adam. Welcome to the Fight and Fancy playlist. And in this episode, we're talking about Master of Chaos. Master of Chaos is the 41st book in the series, and it's the first book of 1990 that was released. Uh, it was written by Keith Martin, and the uh, exterior artwork here was done by Les Edwards, and all the interior artwork was done by David Gallagher. Now, the interior artwork is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, as is the exterior artwork. Again, carrying on that tradition of really nice artwork. Um, I love the, the, the cover because you sort of don't know what you're getting into with these two lizardy things happening. Um, it's, 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 you know, it's like, what is the story? So uh, let's read the internal cover and uh, let's see what the story is all about. So it says, who is the master of chaos? He is a necromancer who seeks to unite the forces of evil and chaos, and so gain domination over Titan. He is an undying one whose mind is warped by centuries of evil doing. All he needs is a staff of power, and now he has one. Ambarian the wizard leaves you no choice. You have been chosen to destroy the evil necromancer and regain the staff of power. Perhaps he's right. Perhaps you are the one. You will find out as the you journey to meet the master of chaos. Um, so the story is um, it's pretty unusual in the fact that it's set amongst um, a time of wizards and you know, you're surrounded by wizards, but you're not a wizard. You're a warrior and you basically have to go retrieve this artifact, this staff of power. Um, and you kind of got to do it undercover as well, um, because if they sense a wizard coming to collect the staff or coming to retrieve the staff, um, it's game over. So they send you a warrior. Now, there's a few new things um, inside. And I, I've got to state that I, I died literally like fifth uh, decision in a pretty basic death as well. It's quite hard. There's a few times that it throws you and kills you or, you know, the option to die is there right in your face. It's pretty hard to, to uh, master. It does have a small magic section, but it... You don't, you don't use magic in the book, or I never use magic in the book. But it does go into a lot of detail about like your equipment that you'll be using uh, and your skills. Now, this is another feature that's been added in previous books. But this one is new in the sense that these skills that you're going to be using are specific. You know, So there's six to choose from, and you can choose any three. So you have acute hearing animal wisdom, blind sight, climbing, move silently, and tracking. So you choose the three you want to use, and they help you in your adventure. And uh, the, the skills, they have a real good detailed uh, list for what that will do and how you'll probably use it in your adventure. Um, I, I never got a chance to use any of my skills because uh, I literally say I was on a boat, a slave boat, where you start off the adventure. And um, somebody was getting beaten and I was like, hey, you know, I stepped in going like, don't do that. And then they basically made me walk the plank bound and I drowned. They were like, you know, don't tell us what to do. And they kicked me off the boat and I died. And it was like, oh, my gosh, I didn't expect that to happen so early on in the story. Uh, another new feature that they have for the, uh, the book is notoriety. Now, this is pretty cool feature, which I, I never got a chance to... Um, uh, sort of get into because I died early in the story and I've never read this book. I've never had this book until recently, you know, for doing this video. But notoriety basically is you start off with zero and as you go into a town or as you go on your adventure, um, your notoriety will go up if you do certain good or bad deeds. And as soon as it hits, like, I think it's number eight, your notoriety, you're asked to leave the town and you have to then move on to the next. So it's uh, it's a pretty decent new feature into the fighting fantasy uh, books. And inside there is also, if I can find it, a map. Um, this is the, the map you get. Usually the maps are printed on here, but for this it's printed there. Um, again, I don't know if this is the final map where you will end up or if it's the map for the entire book because you start off on a boat in the water and I didn't see any water on that map. So um, it is a well-written book from what I read. Um, the, 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 the introduction I had to read twice because it was kind of slightly confusing, but um, I was reading it early in the morning, who knows? 
But um, I enjoyed this book for what I read, and I definitely will be going back to it. I do recommend it, especially if you're collecting all of them. You know, it's essential. It's number 41. So we're kind of like halfway through the series now because um, the books go up to uh, 59 is the last of the Puffin released books. Then there's like another seven, I think, after that. Something like that. So, um, I mean, in total, there's 70. So we're, we're kind of like halfway through um, the whole series. Uh, so that's it, really. That's uh, The Master of Chaos. Let me know what you thought of this book and how you played it and what you thought of the story. And, and let me know, like, you know, the things that happen later on in the story as well. And I'll definitely be going back to play this one because it, it, it just reminded me again so much of the Skyrim game. You know, it's kind of set in that type of world, and I, I really enjoy that. So I definitely will be going back to it. And uh, next week, we will be going uh, deep into the Black Vein Prophecy. And so um, can't wait for that one. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, adventurers. Uh -huh.